Yes, good morning, good morning, lovely weather in Lagos, my day three, uh, and today we are going to Ikorodu on the mainland to have a practice tournament in Scrabble, to see how ready we are for the, for the main event that's starting next week uh, on the 24th. So, yeah, we are, we are waiting for our lift to come and pick us, you can see the weather is gorgeous, no, it's just cool, so going there to spend the whole day. I hope I can see something nice for you to see on my, on my way to Ekorodu. Uh, apparently here we are on the island. So we are going back to the main to the mainland. That's where Ekorodu is. So see you later. Thank you for watching and please subscribe if you're new and don't forget to hit the like button. Thank you very much. Ta. -da. Yes, and finally our ride was here. Two gentlemen who are also scrub players in Lagos. Very nice car, gave us a lift. And off we go. So please enjoy the ride. I really love a drive through this city, especially a place I've just come for the first time. You see a lot of things and try to compare with back home. And a lot of similarities, only that Nigeria is just, I think they have. Uh, they have a bigger economy compared to my, my Uganda. And then when, if I compare to where I come from, unfortunately, Lagos is so, so, so big that I thought I would see some typical village allowed to be able to compare with Pakwach. But when I try to ask around, it's, it's a lot, it's a, it, the city alone is so, so big that to get out of the city, go to the village, and because I'm new and I, know, I don't know anyone, I don't think I'll be able to do that. But let's see, because I still have a few days here. Maybe someone can show me around. So please enjoy the ride to Ikorodu, where we're going to have a one-day scrabble tournament. Meet some new faces, some old friends as well, because there are some who I've met before from other countries playing scrabble. So please enjoy the ride and enjoy the view. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new and hit the like button. And share my video, please. Thank you very much. Yeah, um, it's a bit, it's a bit different because uh, in Uganda we drive on a different side of the road. So when each time I'm in a car, I feel like we're going to have a crash because of the, they're driving on the road. And here it's just like red rice people overtaking, the hooting and all that, but which is different from 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 Uganda. Actually, I thought driving in Uganda was bad but when i came to nigeria oh my god i just couldn't believe it the way they drive the hooting the speed and it's like there's no there's no traffic rules but actually they are there and that's the way everyone drives so as soon as i sat in the car I, actually as soon as i was picked on the airport caesar told me you have to put on your seat belt and normally the funny bit normally people don't like put in Kampala, you don't put seat belts unless you're going for long journeys, but just within the city, they just think it's not it's not worth it. But and I realized why we really had to put on the seat belt because of not only the car you are in, but even the people who drive
I like the the side road businesses that that's exactly what happens in Uganda as well there's a, a lot of things being sold at the road side people coming with things hawking things to moving vehicles yeah so that that was a lot a lot similar like back home so that was nice seeing it happening unfortunately i've not had a chance to experience real shopping whenever you go to a market because i love a bargain like this i say ah oh, i'm giving you this now give me this give me that so that i always enjoy that a lot in the market so i haven't had a chance to experience that that's why the first thing i asked when i landed was are there are weekly markets where people come and sell like every week not once a week because those are the nice ones but i'm not having had a chance to do that so i hope I can get someone to get the government one day taxes to one are new. The yes. translator, because I, I don't, I don't have a clue. But even the English they speak is a bit hard to understand. I might need help with translating, but to get there. So. yellow and uh, purple bottoms are the are the traffic police so they are waiting for so just in case eh? you're wondering they are waiting to bounce eh? oh, eh? greedy very greedy yeah. <laughs> oh, very greedy very greedy you guys can take your intestine <laughs> yeah. very greedy guys so this is the center now of the coral do eh? Yes, so this is the tournament we are playing today. Yes, so we are here where the practice games are going to take place. And actually, we are kind of late. Games have started. You can see balls are all set everywhere. 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 Okay, see you guys later. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, I don't know who I'm playing, but I'm sure person look for me. Hello, hello, hello everyone. This game is so popular in Nigeria. Akwanya. So, yes, just finished my first game. And unfortunately, it didn't go well. These Nigerians are hot and scrub. It is a matter of life and death for them. So, it's a one day event. So, getting ready ourselves for the, for the big event happening late, starting next week. Um, I've lost my first game. Uh, my second game, I have a buy, which means my opponent has not shown up. So I get a free pass there. Yeah, so as you can see, everyone's busy telling, writing their scores. 
Yeah. Okay. Hey, how are you, my friend? Hey, nice to see you. Yeah, I can see some familiar faces that I've met. This is Division A and the other ones are playing Division B. So since me and Caesar and the Yende are international visiting, they put us among the best players that year and got so to tap and up a bit. So trouble others please enjoy the game.